Well, here I am yet again, getting ready to move yet again. And I've been selling things and throwing things out. It seems like I've been clearing out and downsizing for about the last three years. I wanna to talk to you about it in your morning cup of inspiration. I'm getting ready to move back to my hometown up in Michigan, and I'm gonna miss Terry and Brian, but I'll be coming down several times a year as we'll be doing things for Fearless Faith, but I'm feeling like God is calling me back to my hometown. But the moving process is very difficult. This will make three times in the last 13 months. And I've really downsized dramatically. I mean, when I think back a year and a half ago, I had so many things, so much furniture, so many things in the basement and product samples that I never used. And so it's a good exercise for us to, to let go of things, but I know it can be difficult. I compare it to our spiritual lives. There are things inside of us. There are maybe secret sins or um, relationships that we're hanging on to that we know aren't right. We need to let go. We need to get rid of them. You know, when I was uh, a teenager, I loved to play basketball. And we used to wear these ankle weights. We'd strap them onto our ankles and we'd play a while and jump with them on. And when you took them off, you felt so light. You felt so quick and like you could jump so high. Well, that's kind of how it is in our spiritual life. When we let go of things that are holding us back from accomplishing what God has really intended for us, then we can be the person that he intended. So I'm gonna ask you, what do you need to let go of? What do you need to cut loose? Are there certain people that have just been pulling you down and pulling you away from the Lord and away from your faith? And they maybe have you doing things that you know aren't right. It's time to get right with the Lord. There's no time to play around. We are in a situation here in our world where the Lord could come back at any time. And I want to share a verse with you, just one verse today, from Hebrews 12.1, reading from the King James Version. It says, Wherefore, seeing we also are compassed about with so great a cloud of witnesses, let us lay aside every weight and the sin which doth so easily beset us, and let us run with patience the race that is set before us. Our motto here, Fearless Faith, is finish strong, and you wanna go hard in that final lap of a race, but there are probably some things that you need to let go of in order to do that. If you wanna really accomplish great things for the kingdom of God, what do you need to let go of? How much downsizing? do you need to do. I hope that inspires you, and I'll talk to you soon for another morning cup of inspiration. God bless.